What is the ego? The ego is a self-generated identity consisting of every belief we believe about who and what we are. This includes our personality, our talents, and our likes and dislikes. The ego is what keeps us locked away in our minds in an endless cycle of chatter, separated from the present moment. It is the identity created and reinforced by the story we tell ourselves. Our stories are, however, just that, stories. They do not make up who we are. Eckhart Tolle says, the most common ego identifications have to do with possessions, the work you do, social status and recognition, knowledge and education, physical appearance, special abilities, relationships, personal and family history, belief systems, and often nationalistic, racial, religious, and other collective identifications. None of these are you. While the ego is an aspect of the human condition, it is not the true essence of who we are. When we operate from ego, we are generally obsessed with right and wrong, blame and shame. We are not acting from a loving place, but a judgmental place. We are not acting from a place of how can I serve or how can I give. Rather, what do I get and how do I look? Learning to identify the traits and behaviors of the ego and then working to consciously make a different choice will drastically change your life. Here are three tips on managing your ego to create a more peaceful, loving life. Number one, stop taking things personally. The ego loves to get offended. It loves to feel wounded and it thrives on pain and conflict. When we choose to be offended over things, we are actively choosing to allow the ego to take hold of our lives and create pain. In order to disassociate from this decision and make a different choice, we must recognize that love is our natural state. Humans actually want to connect and feel joy, not misery. If someone does or says something that makes you feel any negative emotion, you have two choices. You can react and engage in conflict, or you can recognize that the trigger within you is an opportunity for your own growth. You can choose to recognize that anything negative said or done from another is likely a projection of their own ego. Don't waste your energy on ego battles. Save it for love and service. Number two, forgive. The ego loves being right. It sustains itself in this way. The problem is, it also keeps you from doing what you need to do to move closer to love and truth. The ego is sort of like a weed in this way. It may have pretty flowers for your inner garden, but if left unattended, it will choke out all of your other plants and leave you in a big mess. When you forgive, you allow your heart to open and you separate from the need to be right and instead choose love. This is functioning from your true self. Forgive others and forgive yourself too. Number three, let go and observe. Let go of trying to be right, trying to win, trying to be seen, trying to be heard. Instead, observe. The ego wants to prove itself and jump up and down to gain love and validation. Our higher self doesn't need validation. Our higher self knows that it is love. By becoming aware of the ego and its need to be seen, heard, and acknowledged, you open up space to be seen and heard without expectation. By observing without expectation, you then see things as they are. You see people as they are rather than through a projected sense of lack because they are not matching up to your ego's demands. In this space, there is also an opportunity to sit back and observe as to who or who is not functioning from a place where they can offer themselves up emotionally to give love, acceptance, adoration to you. This means we let go of controlling people in an attempt to have our needs met. This is freedom. Eckhart Tolle said, the moment you become aware of the ego in you, it is strictly no longer the ego, but just an old conditioned mind pattern. 
ego implies unawareness. Awareness and ego cannot coexist. There is no denying that the ego serves its purpose, but when the ego becomes the dominant process of your mind, you fall out of alignment with your true self. With practice, you can learn how to manage your ego better and create a life that feels more peaceful, loving, and authentic. As Gandhi said, when the ego dies, the soul awakens. Let your ego die a little more each day so your own soul can awaken and grow, so your freedom and joy can grow, so your peace can come forward. Bless your life by letting go of your ego.